Oh, gross. What the heck? Oh, gross. Daniel picked Dreamland. No fun. Oh wow! Um, Dark starting it off with a nice, uh, nice rest combo. Wow! So Dark Horse, quick two stock lead. Uh, Daniel racking up damage, but he's got to get the kill. Uh, oh, here we go! This could be another. Oh, he tries to read the up B instead, knowing that he might not be able to keep that going. <coughs> oh, he gets the pound! Oh, I thought he was just going to offstage rest because he's up a couple stocks. Um, and high percentage. Great spacing on that uh, pivot, pivot away. Oh, reads him with the nair. Dark's just all over Daniel. Um, oh, he missed the up smash and gets grabbed. Oh, nice edge guard from Daniel. Dark's still going to make it back, though. Oh, he up tilts through that uh, down air and takes the second stock. <laughs> oh, let's see if he can carry him off stage. Oh, he gets the forward air instead of the nair. Up air, nair. He's got him off stage. Uh, it's hard, hard to get puff when she has all her jumps like that. Oh, and he gets grabbed again. Oh, after all that, Daniel bringing it down to last stock. Uh, Dark, watching this one slip away, he's just got, trying to get a grab. Gets a grab from pretty far away. <coughs> I don't know if he tried to grab him. Oh, <laughs> was that the not the last hit of down air? That was weird, but he... Oh, man. I don't think he's going to make it back from this. Oh, and he kills himself. So Dark, after uh, after losing a game like that in uh, in Winners Finals, he throws away a game in uh, yeah, this is Losers Finals. Oh man, I can't believe he threw that one away. <laughs> okay, go. All right, so neutral start. They go into Final D. Um, Dark Horse feels very confident in Puff on this stage. Um, he thinks it's, uh, Puff is very strong on the stage. I don't know, it doesn't kill quite as early. The size True. Is huge. He, he does get that damage and it's fairly unpunishable. That was a nice up B from Daniel though. He yeah, aimed it straight right. at the ground. Right. <laughs> <coughs> um, I saw Mr. Noob do that in a match. On, um, he did the straight down and got no landing lag from it. Right. Oh, wow. Daniel barely missed the up tilt. The dark just kept on going into him. <laughs> yeah, you're right. See, it's it like this is like the sixth time someone's gone on stage, and then especially from both characters, right? I mean, Jigglypuff can get all the height in the world with yeah. all that room out there. I think I think his uh, his mindset is that Jigglypuff doesn't really benefit from platforms as much as the other characters. Okay. Um, so just taking him away from other characters um, gives Puff a kind of a neutral advantage. Right. Um, yeah, see, so he can just like space that out. He's gonna grab again. Weak there. I think he's yeah, I was gonna say a weak forward air or weak reverse yeah. forward air. But I don't know if sure. he actually could have done that or if he was just too late on that. He says he always stick jumps. If he stick jumped there, then there probably wasn't much he could have connected with. But if right. not, I think his stick jump might have been able to get something. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. So Daniel um, down down a stock clean. Ooh, this could be bad. 
Um, like you said, it's very hard for um, Puff to get a straight kill like that, but he's able to rack up a lot of damage. I mean, think about like uh, Wangara, you know, possibly best Puff player in the world, probably. Right. Um, him, him or Isaiah. I guess I would say, you know, you have to say Wangara right now. You just have to. Right. Um, but his style isn't about capitalizing off of uh, rest combos. It's about spacing, neutral, and I think he would do very well on this level because he doesn't rely on those uh, quick kills. Right. Oh, man, that sticks out for so smash. long. Oh, the reverse. All right, Dan. Second yeah. life, and now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Daniel is very good ledge DI, but um, popped up right into I noticed arms. that a lot when I was playing against this Mario. That's something I still haven't figured out yet. Up being so that you just go above the ledge to get it. Right. I know a lot of Mario players have mastered that, but... Oh, he gets the down air. Oh, and he gets grabbed out of it. Yeah. Was that not safe? Is that why he could do that, or did Jiggly miss... I'm Something. not. I'm not sure. Okay, it might have been to the point where Daniel was so high he could have di'd down towards the ground and gotten a grab out before Jimmy Puff could have done anything. Oh man, so dark. That that's something dark really likes to do. Um, he down airs right above the ledge when Pikachu's. Uh, probably a lot of characters. No, when they're coming off of it, when they're trying to ledge hop. Yeah. Um, he puts it in a place where. Um, if you don't drop low, very low, when you do your ledge hop with Pika, you can't get the up air out quick enough to knock her out. So he just like he reads the ledge hop and throws out the down air, and it kind of makes Pika use their up B, right. and then he gets another chance at edge guarding. Right, another chance at a read. <laughs> yeah. So Daniel went on Dreamland. Dark went on Final D. I have a feeling we're going to be going back to Dreamland here in a second. Uh, I don't. He can't. He want. You can't go back oh, to the stage right. you, you went on. You can't win on a stage you won on. Yeah. Uh, wow. Battlefield, so Daniel opts to go to the States that's the most like Dreamland. <laughs> Alright. Seems fair. I would have voted Metal Cavern, but <laughs> I don't think anyone here likes Metal Cavern. So. Ah, it's it's uh it's alright level, Metal Cavern. It's it's fun. Um I I don't know if it works I think it works well for Pika. I think it's a good stage. Yeah. <coughs> I was playing Falcon, so obviously Yoshi's Island's the uh, the preferred stage for me. Oh, <laughs> yeah! Wow. So Dark's been uh, he's been busting out the Kirby a little bit lately. Um, not at Dark House, but I guess it might have just been once or twice. He uh, when we went to well, I didn't go. Oh, Daniel killing himself? Almost fastball. Downer. I think on Dreamland, the bottom part's low enough yeah. that he would have died, but because this is Battlefield, he had a chance to at least jump in and up be. Oh, he Ooh. catches him with that drill. So, um, yeah, Dark uh, Dark, and a bunch of guys went to this New Jersey quarterly report um, back at the beginning of August, and Dark was playing against Jim Money's uh, Fox from Iowa. Right. Uh, he, I, don't, I don't know if he's actually from Iowa. He always gives me shit for saying he's from Iowa. Um, but Dark was, I, I guess, dealing. He, he, that's like one of his. That's probably his least favorite matchup. I think he said it's was Fox, uh, Falcon. Fox Falcon. It's really like. It's hard to get around. It's, those lasers it's yeah, you have to really like down. take advantage of the platforms. Even then, like Fox just has so many hitboxes that can beat you from uh, nice. from below. Oh, Daniel with the rough up B. So Dark busted out Kirby against him and, and won, and he hadn't played Kirby in about a year. So I guess like he's starting to like add Kirby back to his arsenal. His roster. Yeah, because when you think about happen. it, Falcon and uh, Falcon and Puff both supposedly have a very tough time against Fox. In the current meta, they both struggle very heavily against Fox. So I guess Dark wanted an option for that. Um, Kirby, combo chance. Kirby also gives an option for Falcon Dittos. Um, Puff, I don't think, is very good against Falcon, personally. But um, just having a Kirby is nice. You, if you can play more characters at a high enough level, it's always the way to go. Oh, he doesn't get the push off. Thought he was gonna. He does, but I think it was a little too late. Kirby had already fallen through the platforms, and he got a chance to recover. Well, I meant like he almost pushed him out of his shield. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, 
but didn't get it. See if you can make it. might have done it more hit stun rather than the forward air. Um, yeah, possibly. I'm not sure. Ooh. <laughs> I think they call that the scrub trap, the roll into the up tilt. Oh, he called him out with that nair. Wow. That's, um, it's kind of a... nair comes out really fast. Is yeah. As fast as... How, how, how I, I don't know frame day. Okay. <laughs> I just know that uh, Dark loves the short hop nair as Kirby. It's, it's so fast. It's, it's really I, it's, good. I don't she just seems to think that Luigi's up air is the fastest, which I mean, I guess makes Mario is it? also very fast. He says yeah. they're frame two, so if Kirby's isn't that, it's got to be close, maybe three or four. Oh, did you see that time he used the forward air, the reverse hitbox to push him backwards off the ledge, and then caught him as he was falling down? That was really nice. Mm. Oh, this could be it. Touch, he did, he did. Oh, oh, great oh, read from Dark Horse, and he takes that was, the set. That was the, uh, that's the Jigglypuff thing you had going. Yeah. Push out the no, down well, air the ledge. no that, that's just straight up reading the recovery. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't a ledge hop. But it hop. seems like he was really far on the stage for that to still hit. I don't know. That just, it, looked yeah, like it sticks out really far. Yeah.